hit the snake. I haven't seen the screen yet, so I don't know what game we're playing. Surprise, surprise. Well, surprise for all. I hope you're all well. Here we are. It's a Spider-Man <laughs> game. <laughs> do you what know, fucking Spider-Man game is this? You have to figure out what game. You didn't see the main... The, the audience saw the main screen. You have to figure out what Spider-Man game this is. It's obviously not the 2001 fucking Spider-Man game. No, it's nothing to do with movies. It's not the PS1 one, obviously. The only other one I think that I might have is Friends or Four. For funds, Foes or Friends. Right, go on, skip all this, get straight into the game. So, for the for the lovely people, we are playing the game on the <coughs> PS2 because we've got a nice little capture set up here in my house for the PS2. We're capturing with the HD PVR2, <laughs> is what I'm using. The Hapogir, Hapogi, whatever way you want to pronounce it. Hapogag. Um, and we just have that set up for the moment, so we're doing a lot of PS2 stuff. This could be a very short little video, I'll be honest. Uh, well, if we can get 20 minutes out of it, we're doing if well. We get, if, we record, <laughs> if we record for 20 minutes, I'd, I'd be more than happy. Alright, this is sucking. Come on, I know my Marvel movies. That's Samuel L. Jackson's character. What? Yeah, in. in, in oh, your mind, Mr. Fury! Fury. Mr. Captain Fury! <laughs> I was about to call him Michael Fury. Michael Fury. Michael Fury. Mr. Captain Fury. No, I'd I'd like to say something if I may. Okay. One, yeah, say away. Um, he's not black. Perfect. He is most certainly a white man. Yeah. He is. Because he was in. No, to be fair, I watched this. I like Spider Man. I think Spider Man's the only Marvel character that I actually genuinely like. Iron Man as well. Iron Man. But in the original animated '90s Spider Man TV show, yeah. Nick Fury. Nick Fury Nick. is his name. <laughs> Nick Fury is in Nick, that show and he's Michael. white. Is he? Michael Fury. That was a Mick Fury. Like, like fucking Michael Flatley. Like. <laughs> What's the last Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe film you saw? Spider-Man: Homecoming. Did you actually see that? Yeah. That's recent enough. So it's good. The last Marvel film I saw in the cinema was The Avengers. <laughs> That's, that was 2012, wasn't it? That's so long ago. That'll tell you my interest has waned so quick with those superhero movies. Like, <gasps> you can join in. I don't have a second oh. PS2. I don't own a second PS2. Oh, shit! And look, you could have been a purple fella. A purple man? <laughs> the purple man. What can Spider-Man do? Like, he just gyrates. I don't know, go on and get into a mission. Let's see what the story is. Your grabs will work in the air as well. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Spider look how fucking pristine my PS1 controller is. Can you press X? <laughs> oh, why do we have two player? Here I am, I'm the purple man! Here I am, I'm the purple man. Is there a controller there somewhere? So this is kind of bringing us back to that weird Golden Axe-esque, not Golden Axe game that we were playing the other day. The other day? <laughs> well, yeah, um, I yeah. that's what I suppose it technically it was the other day. We Jesus, stop telling us how to play the game. Can we fucking play the game? Can we play the game? All right, oh, is, is one of those things that I just did. So wait now, who the fuck am I? I think I heard about the name of your guy before. His name is something like... Spectre, or not Spectre, um... Phil Spectre! Score. Famous producer of many albums! What is his name? It doesn't grab me, baby! What is his name? Really no one knows Spawn. because no one cares. That is not Spawn. Have you ever seen Spawn? I thought that was Spawn. No, Spawn dresses all in black and looks more like fucking Venom. Does he? Yes. And he has massive red cape. Like laser fucking on. Oh, so this is kind of like uh, a beat em up, really, isn't it? I wasn't expecting a beat em up, I'll be honest. I don't remember being a beat em up. Sure, that's probably why if you got this and didn't like it, because you would have been playing it on your own and you're not, you've never been a massive fan of beat em ups. That's the as long as I've known you. It's true. True. That must be the reason. I remember buying this game for Xbox 360. Because you obviously would have been looking to play another Go Through the City oh, Spider-Man totally, game. Yeah. Like. Like, I, like that new Spider-Man game, I can't wait for that. Nah, nah that, that, it, doesn't, it doesn't blow me away. There's something going on. Can we it's just been done, like you know, and, and kind of, I just, I, I get tired very easy of just things. I want something new, like something it just, it fresh. Just... Give me Hideo Kojima's fucking next game. That's all I want. And I'd well, be happy, that's, man. I can't wait for that. But like this, or the new Spider-Man game looks like um, to me, uh, like Arkham Asylum, just with that with Spider-Man. That has that same feel. But sure, you know how you feel about Ar Ar Arkham fucking Arkham Knight. You have a feeling that you're not going to enjoy it as much as you're feeling like you're going to enjoy it. You're getting caught up in the hype I train. Am, I you're am, getting caught up in the fucking hype train, baby. Those trains would be fucking program misery, like. I, I, like, I would say that you'll probably get the game and you won't end up enjoying it as much as you feel like you will now. <sighs> Don't say that to me, like. But like, see, I'm looking forward to but it. But you gotta come into these things with low expectations so that you can be blown away. And then if you have the low expectations, at least all that happens is that was a waste of money and I can just sell it back to the shop. Rather than, it's gonna be amazing and it turns out to be just fucking boring. 
So you think I should hold off? Or when I come back, watch a couple of videos? I, I'd say watch a couple of videos, yeah. I would say it's not a game that I would spend my money on straight away. That's, That's my own fair. personal thing, anyway. I wouldn't pay full price for it. Do you know the way sometimes, like, there's games I buy day one and you're like, I won't be buying it day one. Like, yeah, that's one what that one, one of those games is to me now. Like, if it's good, I'll be delighted and I'll let you know if it's good. I just, I just think it's going to be Assassin's Creed meets with a small bit of Spider-Man and just another one of those fucking time sink things, you know? I really hope it's not. If it's... In fact, I actually think it'd be like Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs 1 was alright. It was a grand old first PlayStation 4 game to play, like, but I wouldn't. First? Yeah, yeah. Well, one of them. Oh, I got Wolfenstein day one, didn't I? And I got a fucking soccer game. Of course, I got a fucking soccer game. Nice. That's happened to me twice in my fucking life. <laughs> brand new consoles, <laughs> soccer games. Here you go. I don't want a fucking soccer game. Stick it up your ass, GameStop. I remember that. You were there. No, you were there for my PS4. Remember, I went up to the shop and they were like, "Oh yeah, the deal today is that you That's get right. uh, that you get fucking whatever fucking shit football game." Can't even remember what it was. And I was like, "Oh, can you do?" any other new game that's currently out in the shelves I would yeah. literally would have taken anything I would have taken infamous fucking second son over it whatever the fuck like yeah and it was just no they were like no sorry that's what the deal is today and I'm like yeah but but can I just take a game that's at the exact same price instead please so no sorry we can't do that it's mine <laughs> can you fall off the edge no this is such a child's game can you not fall off the edge nah there's nothing worse than when yeah, you want you die when you want to die in a game I fell off the edge like well, I actually could have suicide. You have to jump off the edge in order to, to fall off the edge, but they won't just walk off the edge. That man is currently walking on the air like, who is this character? We want to find out who this character is. I hope there's somebody watching this like, it's the fucking guy, it's yeah. Green Man. They're looking at us going, fucking nerds for not knowing. <laughs> yeah, fucking, <laughs> fucking stupid nerds for not knowing. How could you not know, guys? Does anybody watch Marvel movies? But Spider-Man is great. I actually have the Spider-Man and 90s uh, DVD collection, like every single episode oh, know, on, on DVD. Know. That TV show. It's brilliant. That X Men. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Um, of course, you remember from the Do you remember the episode of Spider Man? One of those episodes where he actually became. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. They're terrifying. Terrifying like. as a child, yeah. And uh, the woman that, that a lot of people forget is Madam Web. He's like confidant. His he goes to her for like what? advice. Yeah, Madam Web. Peter Parker goes to her. Yeah, yeah. Madam She's Madam like Madam a spider lady or something that kind of gives him advice and what he does. Cause I started, obviously started watching it when I got the whole entire box set DVD collection. Of course. Um, and I got quite far into it. And there's this whole storyline where Mary Jane, yeah, Mary Jane gets like dragged into a different dimension and she's gone for like a whole season of Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. And he, for the whole season of Spider-Man, he's just like depressed that she would, he let her fall into this other dimension. There's an episode in it anyway where Peter Parker's friend anyway gets hold of the Venom costume basically. The, the or the symbiote. I don't, I don't care about it. Yeah. And he becomes bad and then Peter Parker has to save him by getting the symbiote off Barry Guy or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah. And he sends it up into space on a rocket ship. That episode then is used as the first episode of the TV series that followed, and I don't know if you ever remember it, called Spider-Man Unlimited. It was a 19 episode series. Didn't last any longer than that because it didn't perform very well. Basically, it's like the Batman Beyond to Batman <laughs> right. animated series. If that makes any sense to you or any of the viewers. You're probably all like, what the fuck is he talking about? What are these nerds talking about? Like? But Spider-Man Unlimited was where the whole series takes place in this alternative dimension thing where Spider-Man becomes really powerful and has a cape and it's, yeah, it's fucking it's super cool like and the, the alien race are like these half human half animal like some of them are half human half goat it's so unbelievably it's out of the order or, uh, yeah mental out of left field you should check it out uh, Spider-Man Unlimited sounds interesting I still want to know who this character is though <laughs> 
Spore man! Do you know who's fucking shit? Stanley. People have some love for that man. And like all his ideas were like stolen as well. I don't like Stanley. I'm not a fan of Stanley. And I've listened to about four podcasts where he's talking and things. What does he say about himself? He's highly complimentary of himself in a in do, <laughs> no in a I'm great on no, time let me continue he, he's highly complimentary of himself in an endearing air quotes funny way okay so it's, it's like weird. you know you're talking to the incredible Stanley or whatever he's Excelsior all that shit you're just like Look, you're an old man and you're getting a lot of fucking praise for creating all these characters even though, like, most of it's lies. Like, he didn't create half the fucking characters that it's they say he does. This game is, uh... It is really bad. It's... Do you know what it reminds me of? Remember that time you got a game, um... I think it was a Batman game. And we played it for about half a minute. And it was exactly this type of game again. What was that? Oh, I can't remember. Or maybe it was like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Yes. Yes, I don't know what exactly you want to run about. Yeah, we played it for a few minutes and it was really bad. Yeah, it was really bad 3D graphics, like really tr PS3 early 2007 graphics. Yeah, it's lazy. It's very lazy in terms of a beat up. I've just been, I've been flaking fellas like this off the floor for the past two minutes. Look at this. Ah, I bit him off the fucking floor. Like. Poor fucker. Like, it's, like, it's like getting is, a combo together. Is he dead together. yet? Like. It's like getting a combo together on Tekken, you know? Because <laughs> the person just can't get a chance. And again, we're playing on the PS2, so it's like original aspect ratio and everything that you're probably seeing at the moment. And I'm going to reiterate again, is you need to get a component cable for that PS2. If you still play your games on your PS2, get yourself a component cable and it'll breathe new life into your PS2. No longer will it look muddy and crap, it'll look really fucking good. Kids would love this game. I don't know though, like, I, if I was a kid and I got this, I think I actually would find this a little boring. That's because we were kids uh, brought up on a fucking good steady things. diet of amazing games, such as Deus Ex <laughs> and Thief. Yeah, but like, I, I think Ruby would hate this, but Oscar would love this. Maybe. Oh my god, it's better, man. That it's really it's just really interesting. Like what was the, so what were the first games he was ever playing? Like Oscar, Oscar. is uh, Patrick's very young brother who is what five six. He is he's going to be ten. So it's Are a you bit, serious? Yeah, I know. It's, he's not a ten year old in my head. Anyway. It's sickening. Ruby was eleven the other day. Ruby it's, Ruby seems about that age though. She's like you know got the maturity level of that age if you get what I mean. Start to get embarrassed for parents, kind of thing. I'm embarrassed! Embarrassed of you, parents! <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, so what kind of games was he brought up? Like, what was his strict diet? Like, my well, strict diet was Monkey Island, Doom, fucking Wolfenstein, he, fucking Prince of Persia. Like, you I, know, what's the steady diet he grew up on? I had him playing things like Arkham Asylum. Yeah, that's a good game. For uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, he, there was a, a PS3 port of the old NES um, X Men game, which was the very first game he ever finished himself. As in, like, he it was literally just a beat, beat him up, and he got through the whole thing just walking and pressing the, the beat up button. Yeah, yeah. And every time he died, he just pressed start to come back in. <laughs> More lives! Yeah, so it was he beat that. Um, the, I think Ruby and Oscar, the two of them grew up. Oh, look, it's Black Hat. You think you're pretty sneaky. The two of them grew up on Arkham Asylum. Where's me, like? Where's fucking Triangle Green, man? <laughs> yeah, my character's just like, you stay back there now. Spore. You stay, <laughs> you stay back there, fungus. Then I want to go with. That could be arranged. That could be a rage! Like, like, I didn't hear a word that were said. Well, that's the end of the game. We, put it, we beat the game. Ladies and gents, if you like Hit the Snake, please hit that like button. Give us a comment down below if you want a, a particular game. We'll be more than happy to play a particular game. Please do subscribe and hit that little bell next to the subscribe button because that gives us your news feed that you can see <laughs> us as soon as our videos come out. Give us all your love and we will give you our love in return. My name's Jack. I am Patrick. And we are Hit the Snake. Goodbye! You're not real! Hit the snake! Videos for no one, no one watches now! Hit the snake! Looking at lovely things we have!